Two quick things about this video I want you to know going in. Number one, the first part of the video is going to be focusing on the weird comment possibly left by Isabella Jank's dad on my video yesterday. Number two, we're going to go over uh, we're going to go over an updates on Isabella and everything that's been going on because this bitch is fucking weird. And the Kiwi Farms is down, so I can't get that much info. But we're going to work with what we got. So, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the video. If you're new here, I know what you're looking for. I know you want to hear more about this situation, so I'm not going to fucking bullshit you. Let's get on with it. Ladies and gentlemen, an omen is among us. Damien herself has come up from hell and is here to boil every goddamn hamster that sits on God's green earth, while her father, Satan himself, is in my comment section, giving me the works. You know, I promised myself I wouldn't get high for today's video. I was high in yesterday's video. And I made that video just as like a half-assed attempt to kind of talk about the situation because I thought it was funny. And it got 3,000 views. So to all the new people here, I know what you're here for. I'm not going to be a weirdo and try to push some other content on you. Let's talk about this weirdo bitch and this weird comment that was left on my video yesterday. Now, a guy in the comment section... Before that initial comment, the one you see on screen right now, was deleted, because it was deleted, there was a guy who told me that this was uh, posted in the Kiwi Farms, and that's why I assume this video took off more than any of my other videos do. I mean, for fuck's sake, like I said, I had 80 subscribers when this video yesterday dropped. I got 100 now. Um, I'm not no big YouTuber, but apparently Mark L. thought I was big enough to come to my comment section and, uh, and tell me what's good, and tell all of you what's good. Because he didn't just come to my comment section to tell me off. He's telling all of you off. All of us off. So let me read Mark L's comment right here. As one who actually knows Isabella, I can tell you that she is a kind and loving girl. This is a smear campaign that has been orchestrated by misogynistic males because they can't handle a smart girl competing with them in a male-dominated field. She recently received a 4.0 and the highest marks in her class. She is an animal lover and has worked in animal rescue. She would never, ever hurt an animal. When someone is emotionally troubled, she is the first one to give her support to them. In high school, she was part of a group that supported gays and transgenders. You, I guess that would be me, are perpetuating the slander of a group... The slander of a group of disruptive males that have nothing better to do with their time than bully a young girl. She is not even 20 yet. Isabella heard about what Chris was doing with their mother, was disturbed, and contacted the police. That's all. You all should move on. If the very end of that made me sound like an idiot and like I didn't know how to read and it wasn't exactly the quotes, I apologize. My recording button is right over the bottom of the comment and there's nothing I can do about it, so I couldn't read that one verbatim. So let's go over this fucking comment, shall we? Um, first and foremost, like, there's no proof this is her dad. This might just be some guy trolling, but w I don't know, man. This is a weird troll, and it, these are just things that are very specific to people who are, like, involved in this situation, but only around Isabella. I think another reason that, like, kind of gives this away is that I saw that last night there were discussions about this particular comment and my video on uh, the Kiwi Farms. And um, as soon as those comments and people started talking about it, this comment went down. So, I mean, if it was someone trying to troll, you know, that'd be exactly what they wanted. They would want people to be talking about it, but uh, this person didn't want no one talking about it. And it, it was really fucking dumb of this Mark person, because like I said, I, I'm a really small creator. I, I had 82 subscribers, and Mark over here coming to my video made other people want to come and talk about it. So, like, you know, thanks, Mark cool fucking dickhead but let's go over what mark said in the comment here as one who actually knows isabella i can tell you that she is a kind and loving girl she tried to make a transgender girl kill oh she she was part of making a transgender girl kill themselves and she also wanted to make chris kill themselves so the kind and loving part throw that shit out the window this is a smear campaign that has been orchestrated by misogynistic males because they can't handle a smart girl competing with them in a male-dominated field. I, I think this Mark thinks the Kiwi Farm is just filled with technical engineers just fucking pounding our fists together like this fucking bitch gonna take our jobs. Like, no, that's not why people are mad at her. 
She recently received a 4.0 and the highest marks in her class. I mean, that's good for her, but she's a fucking idiot for doing shit like this. Is it on? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that 4.0 is doing real well for her, Mark. Now let's keep going. Uh, she is a animal lover and has worked in an animal rescue. Yeah, that's the one, that's the kicker right there. She is, anyone, someone had to send this guy the video of her boiling the hamster, right? And working at an animal rescue is just horrifying. That puts so many poor innocent animals in danger. If there's like any, anyone knows if this bitch really works at one of them bitches, like, report that shit, please, for the love of God, like, save those poor fucking hamsters. When someone is emotionally troubled, she is the first one to support them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She seems like a pretty cruel bitch. I don't think that's the case, Mark. I think you're fucking with me. In high school, she supported the gays and the nah, 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 nah. That one's bullshit. Because I'm, there's so many text logs of this girl out here saying some really, really, like, hateful, racist shit. Like, no. Don't try to sit here and tell me she's down with, like, everyone. No, she's not. You, this is what makes me think it's her dad. Because no one has this much fucking hope in somebody more than their parents. But if she was really in a group with for, like, gays and transgenders, that's great. Some of the most closeted fucking transphobic and hateful bitches in my school were in one, too. So that doesn't prove shit. The next part's where he says that I am perpetuating... Uh, the bullying of this girl and that all you guys are disruptive males he assumes all of you are males I'm pretty sure I've I've gained a good bit of female subscribers over this the tea community loves this shit so I don't think it's specifically just males Mark but yeah yeah you're I mean shit I don't think it's bullying I think it's justice see I look at myself did you just see the new Suicide Squad movie like uh, Peacemaker John Cena's character yeah, well, think of, like, me and every other YouTuber making a video on this and, like, every single person who's posting in the Kiwi Farm thread about this as John Cena's Peacemaker character. And we'll go to any lengths we have to to receive peace. And peace to us is getting your weirdo gerbil cooking or hamster cooking, suicide wanting weirdo daughter out from anywhere that she can threaten people or threaten any poor animal that can be at her disposal which is fucking bullshit and finally you say that like she's barely 20 years old and why don't we find something better to do i'm pretty sure most of the people in the threads are probably younger than her to be honest most are probably older than i don't know i don't know the estimate age of these people i don't really think age matters as if you're above 18 and you're doing weird shit like your daughter is, she deserves to be fucking held accountable for what she's doing. So, yeah, I'm not going to sit for that one either. But that's really all I have to say about that comment and responding to everything to it. But, Mark, I'll leave you with this. Whoever that was that left that comment, that was really fucking weird. Like, why would you defend somebody like this? People who defend Chris are weird, but people who defend this girl are a lot weirder. I want to say something that yesterday I saw a lot of comments of people telling me that, you know, this girl does have a lot more shit on her than I initially said in my first video. And you guys are all right in the comments. This girl probably is worse than Chris. So I'll take that back from the other video. But uh, apparently she's a rapist too. She draws CP. She does all this terrible shit. So Mark L, if you are her fucking father, your daughter's a piece of shit, brother. You can defend her all you want. I know you're not going to turn against your daughter because some random fucking dude on the internet tells you to. But if you do come across this video again, you do hear the words I'm saying, I just want you to sit here and think that there are millions, not millions, but millions of people have seen the threads anyway, but there are thousands of people who now know your daughter and almost everything about her, and it's so fucking weird, and it's because of her own doing, because she decided to be an absolute piece of shit, and now she's reaping what she sows. So, Mark L, don't leave weird comments on my video like that again. Sadly, you want to know what's worse about this? He left a second, but he deleted the thread so fast I wasn't able to get the fucking screenshot, so sorry that I can't have that in this video. So, now we're about to jump to the next part of the video where I just explain the few short updates that have happened today, and they're really... 
I haven't been able to get all of them together because, like I said, Kiwi Farms has been down, and it may be due to Mark L over here, but we're not pointing any fingers, so, you know, we don't know shit. But, yeah, let me jump into the updates now. Like I said, there's not much, but some shit I saw that's uh, it's pretty funny. I'll let you know. Firstly, self-proclaimed popular podcaster Dick Masterson has put out a $1,000 bounty to try to get Isabella on the phone. And honestly, you know, I hope she bites. I think the entire internet hopes she bites. But uh, in other news, his friend, well-known fat bitch Ethan Ralph, is apparently trying to fuck her. So, you know, there's really... That's not too shocking, is it? Is it? Now, this next one, I don't have a lot of information for because, like I said, the Kiwi Farms is down, and I really was just scrolling past this last night while I was half asleep, but apparently some kid, a guy who's in this situation, one of uh, this bitch Bella's friends, she got kicked, or he got kicked out of Texas Tech already, so I don't know if that's true or not. Um, that's, like I said, it's few and far between on updates. The Kiwi Farms is down, I don't got much to, to say, like, I don't got much that I can tell you guys. Other than that, I just want to bring up the fact that how weird is it that this has gone from making videos about Chris's incest charge to now me talking about some girl that none of us ever would have thought we would have known even one week ago? This is weird, right? Like, I, I don't think I've mentioned Chris's name barely at all through this entire fucking video, and this is still an entire situation all about Chris. Like, for the most part, anyway. Now we got this psycho bitch, and now everyone's focusing on her, but we should be. Just, my God, what a weird turn this fucking whole situation has taken. Um, I don't know what we're going to wake up to tomorrow now. It's like every day we wake up to some weird new shit in this situation. Like, I really do expect that we're going to find out some, like, just some crazy shit that's going to blow everything away. Because that's what this situation just keeps happening. It just keeps happening. More weird shit. And I love it. And uh, so if you tune into my videos and you guys are, like, liking this shit, you know... Drop a like, drop whatever you want. I don't really give a fuck. I'm making these videos because I like talking about the situation. It's fun. I like you guys commenting. We can all talk about this. Uh, yeah, man. Go hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up in the comments. Like, let's just let's talk about this weirdo ass bitch and the fact that her dad may have commented on my videos. Uh, I don't like. I said I'm I'm not gonna say for certain that he did, but I'm probably gonna put it in the title. Like because I mean shit. Other pe I want people to see this and make their own opinion on whether this is her dad or not. So, uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. Um, be safe.